Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. I'm sure you know the, the drill at this point. Uh, it's been a while since I last recorded due to um, me being out of town, which I talked about in the last episodes if you haven't watched those. Uh, and I had to split the last episode into two separate episodes because I had some file corruption happening. Hopefully we're all good here. It, it, it all appears to be good to me. I'm just checking the map to um, to see if there are any emeralds or anything left since the last time uh, because I don't think I had time to check beforehand or after recording the last episode. Uh, I usually do this at the end of the episodes, but I didn't last time. I uh, usually buy some items and stuff as well, but I think this time we're just going to go right into uh, the next level. I don't want to do that but before we uh, do a level here. So we're going to go into Fiery Forge. And unfortunately, I've already beat this level because of the file corruption, but I'm going to do it again for the purpose of uh, the videos. Uh, I like this level. I'll let you watch the stuff. The Fiery Forge, where the Arch Illager builds monstrous machines that devastate the villages of the overworld. He must be stopped. Strike with everything you've got and raise this forge to ruins. Yeah, so I like this level a lot. Uh, you start in this snowy area and then you go into that forge you just saw, but I don't want to talk too much about the level, you know. I, I, not that I never do. Look at these blocks. I would just give them in the. Just give me. Give me them in the game. Uh, the 1.16 update just came out for regular Minecraft. I have yet to play that. If you have played it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I, I intend to start a series here. Just a regular old Let's Play series of um, Minecraft. I think we're going to do vanilla Minecraft. I thought about it for a long time. I thought I was going to do like a terrain generation mod and, and a whole bunch of different stuff for, for vanilla. But I think the best way to handle uh, a Let's Play series on YouTube is to just do vanilla Minecraft. Uh, because that allows you to change with all updates in the future um, without editing too much stuff. So I think that's what we're going to do. You can you can expect that uh, in the coming weeks, I hope, is just a regular old Minecraft vanilla Let's Play. And maybe some other Minecraft content as well. Who knows, though? Uh, we probably have another week of this game, so next week we will we will continue to play this. Uh, I think we have another three levels. I don't know. We either have two or three levels. Pretty unsure about that. But I don't. I, I think I've made the decision that I'm not going to go back and and try to unlock all the secret levels. Unfortunately, it might happen at some point, but it's not a priority on my list. There are a lot of games coming out right now that I want to play. The Steam sale just started today. Uh, so if you're watching this on Friday, I'm recording this on Thursday. <laughs> Uh, so I'm excited about the Steam sale. Lots of games I want to play. Um, might I might play uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Remastered, or I think it's called Rehydrated, as the next game on the channel. That could be fun. Uh, there are lots of new cool indie games out. West of Dead looks very cool. Um, Desperados 3. I don't know if that's quite considered an indie game. Probably, probably close. Uh, I want to play that game. Oh, I haven't checked about uh, what what our stuff is here we got six secrets one chest that's a lot of secrets i'm really not too um i'm not gonna be too heartbroken about the secrets anymore uh they 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 ended up being a little more difficult to uh to to find than i first imagined so if we miss some no big deal i'm just looking to play the most casual experience of this game possible essentially uh, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I, there's, there's This level is, is really cool. Specifically, there's like little mini bosses on this level that make the game uh, a lot more difficult. Uh, and the, the end boss on this level is also very cool. So stay, stay tuned and stay pogged up for that. You'll see a redstone giant here shortly, and those are really cool. I want to make sure that we're not missing anything on the map. I know I say I don't really care about secrets, but that doesn't mean I don't want to just neglect the map want to explore it all and i will say that the, the the levels are just as fun on second playthrough as they are the first playthrough I'm sure there's not the element of uh you know exploring things for the first time but the, the gameplay holds up as fun 
which makes sense because the, the gameplay is the same on all levels regardless so it's it's an enjoyable game uh, that's my that's my that's my verdict my final verdict of Minecraft Dungeons even enjoyable I don't think it's a masterpiece but but it's very fun oh get out of there chief I don't know why I decided to throw that right there. I think I meant to shoot an arrow and it just didn't happen that way, you know? Things never work out the way you want them to. AKA uh, file corruption and having to play a level twice. But it's fine, we should we should be back to uh, full length levels at, or episodes at this point at least. So you won't, I won't have to watch uh, half an episode. Um, but if you, if you like the series, let me know, I would uh, Really appreciate the feedback. There's very little, very little of it in these parts, but that's okay, you know. Oh, I thought I could get up there, but I can't, and now I have to take damage. Stop! Stop with the fire damage. I always forget about our weapons or our secret. I don't know our artifacts. That's what they're called. Are we good? Let's go up this way. How's everybody doing though? I guess I I know that's something I usually ask on Twitch, in the live format where people can respond. But you know. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a, a nice quarantine, a nice summer. What else, what else, what else could be, be happening, you know? I hope you're all being creative and productive and learning things all the time, you know? I just got done uh, streaming and I'm recording this afterwards. Um, and I played some Bloodborne and uh we were in the chalice dungeons if you're familiar with that if not doesn't matter and we fought a very difficult boss that i was not anticipating it got me shook up my salt levels are high and uh, at the end of every stream i, I do one gun enter the gungeon run and that's a it's a roguelike top-down bullet hell if you're unfamiliar with it it is a mainstay on the channel i've made a couple episodes here on youtube you can check those out but uh I kind of fell off the boat on making those here, and instead uh, decided to focus Gungeon on uh, YouTube, or I'm sorry, Twitch, as it's, I don't know, I, I enjoy that game a lot, and I intend to play it in some form for the foreseeable future, but could, could appear in multiple places or whatever, but that's a fun time, but the Gungeon run that we did was very spicy. We almost lost. These guys are a lot easier than the last time I fought them. I, the last time we, I, I struggled quite a bit. No item has yet trumped what we have here uh, in our inventory. Oh my gosh, I didn't destroy anything from last time. It's fine. We'll just do it right now. Yes, I heard that guy. I heard that guy. Don't get rid of that one. I think we should get rid of it, but not quite. It's hot. It's hot in this room. It's hot in uh, in Seattle right now. That's a that's about all I have to say. I have a fan running, so I hope you can't hear it. If you can, I will do my best to uh, get rid of that in post. We leveled up. Does that mean we can uh, enchant something? We have four points. Are you kidding me? Chief, what can we enchant here? Enchantments. Could increase one of those. What's this guy? 40% increased damage and ranged. Oh, at full health. That seems great. What do these guys do? 75% max damage. Has a chance to fire five arrows in all directions of on impact. Let's take that. Why not? Cost four, we have four. We wouldn't do anything with that other point anyway. At least for now. Let's rock it. How's the map looking? We gotta kill this guy. Heal up, heal up. Don't let these guys get you. Use your free fire arrows. Stop. Missing. I don't like that you can't shoot upstairs. That seems like a bit of an oversight to me. You, you, your arrows get stuck on stairs. Why can't you just aim upwards, Chief? I'll take that. 
I don't know, it seems weird to me that you just can't can't shoot upstairs. We talked a lot about burgers on stream today. Oh, we're 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 done. Back up, get out of there. Move. Yeah, we gotta we gotta wait for our potion to heal here. I'm getting a little getting a little overzealous on this one. There we go. Alright, play smarter. It's just not a very good position to uh is, are you the problem? Now, now we can kind of position ourselves in a more efficient way. So I guess that's how we know when we, uh... Oh no, chain reaction, that's the one we want. With our bow. Uh, the, the arrows are far and few these days. The game starts to really wean you off of those. You don't, you don't get as many. Oh, we're dead. Don't hit me. Give me that other heal. Come on, baby. It's so close. Give it to me. There it is. So, excuse me, my commentary is a little, well, slow. Not not so slow, but lower energy today because I uh, I just got done with two hours of, two and a half hours of streaming. Bloodborne dungeon. It was spicy. We were losing, doing a lot of losing. Can you hit something with that, please? No, that's all right. I didn't want you to hit anything with it anyway. Just sit back here, shoot your fire arrows at boys. Wait for your heal. <laughs> it's, this, is, this is embarrassing. We just have to hide behind pillars and wait, wait for our heal over and over again. It's fine. I'd rather do this than die, but... Oh my goodness. Alright, let's, let's play better here. I just can't see where any of the heckin' enemies are. And these pillagers that uh, that shoot arrows that you do crazy damage. That's the way to do it. Oh, get out of there. I should probably be using that explosive arrow more. There we go. The apples are going to heal us up a little bit. Oh, nice. I could see how this game could be fun with friends and playing on the harder difficulties where uh, you really have to kind of be a little bit more strategic about what you do and using your arrows and playing well. That could be fun, but but on these these easy, easier difficulties, it's, it's really not too bad. But I don't know if I'd want to do the super hard difficulties alone. It seems like it could get incredibly difficult. Maybe not though, because you, you scale up your gear along with uh, the difficulty, so maybe it's about the same difficulty throughout the whole game. Who knows? How are we doing on our map here? We got a little corner back there that we didn't explore. Let's go check that out. What else do we have to talk about? I don't remember. Who who heckin' knows? And who knows uh, any of the things I talked about on the lost tapes, you know, the lost levels. Could have been, could have been anything. Got a little secret for me down here? No, it's cool. I didn't want one anyway. We are never going to find all six of those secrets. We found one. We have five more. No way. No way that's ever going to happen. The fire arrows are really nice for us just because they're essentially free arrows. I also really like the, uh, the explosive arrows as always. Oh, don't stand in the lava, you, jo you Josh and me, Chief. What are you doing? How's our map? Got a little bit of an area... I don't like these guys, they have a ton of health. It's alright, we have a little bit of an area up here. Just make sure there's no, like, secrets. And then we got a area down south on the map. Don't know if it's really south, because we're kind of on a diagonal at all time. It's more like southwest over here. That corner right there, it's not going to let me get there from here. So I'm going to ignore it. I thought about going back. It's not worth it. Get out of here. Get these boys out of here. Let's do this. Yeah, that's the stuff. Heal up, why not? Might as well use it while you have it and start letting it recharge now. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. I, 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 I want some new armor for Deputy Dinky. I want some, some new weapons for Deputy Dinky. Didn't really get one in the last episode, but that's okay. It was, an, it was a level we'd already played. No big deal. 
hopefully the recording is uh, is working here. I increased the bit rate on this one so it should look a little better. I went back and watched some of the uh, the videos that I had been posting in the. In, I'm recording in 1080p, but it looked a little uh, not super crisp. So I, I cranked up the bit rate and I think we should be all right. I don't think we're skipping frames or anything. It looks okay to me. Hopefully it, the, the video looks a little better for you. Let me know, uh, let me know what you think of the, the video quality in terms of visual quality. These things, they fire a, a, like a fireball in all four directions. Um, and they have a very small explosion area around them. I, I learned that the hard way the first time I played the level. The explosion area got me killed once. And remember those, uh, keep those in mind for later. They're, they're, they're a cool mechanic in this level. So we need four more of those. This is a cool level. I like this level. It's 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 got eeriness. It's got spookiness. Even though the the arch illager is the the single least intimidating villain of all time. So if we activate this, oh no, Ooh, we're alive. That got spicy though. That that spider hit us right uh, in the worst place it possibly could. Right in the middle of that explosion. I took a death to one of those last time. One of these boys exploding. So I'm glad that we're not currently dead, but uh, we're pretty a ways away from our heal. So we're just gonna trek on and hopefully uh, we don't do any more dying here. Looks like there's one right here that I missed somehow. That's fine. I didn't want to grab it anyway. Got two more back here. And hopefully we don't have uh, all too much level left. I bet we're about halfway done with the level right now. Maybe not though. Who knows? We're, I feel like we're kind of flying here, killing enemies pretty quick. Except for uh, a couple of those enemies back there that... Oh, it went right in the hole. Let's turn that guy on. Boom. We got 138 arrows, that's pretty nice. I was, I was pretty pressed for arrows. Oh, what the heck is that? I was pretty pressed for arrows on this last, last time. The first time I played it. I don't know why we're having such a easier time this time. I don't know. Maybe it's the artifacts. The uh, Our weapon is much better than it was the first time. It's a shame that y'all can't see those those lost episodes. All right, this is, this is going to be a death for us. I don't know. I don't know how to get out of here. We kind of made it happen. Why did you give me that noise? What did I do? Where's this final pillar down here? Give me that heal, boys. I need it. Why are enemies still, like, being summoned? I don't understand. Who's doing such a thing? Can I make that stop? There's one right there. We activated that one and somehow neglected to activate the other one. It's fine. Now we just escape the forge. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go ahead and use the heal now. Just in case we, uh, we need another one later. That was a scary noise that just triggered. Ooh, a little secret chest. Is that a secret? Oh, cool. Let's take a glaive. Let's uh, let's equip that. What do you say? It's a little bit better than what we have, and let's let's. That's a cool weapon. Let's uh, let's disenchant our hammer. I guess. We'll make it work, even if that hammer was was better. Enchantments. Uh, 30% chance to summon a poison cloud that deals damage to enemies in an area for three seconds. I like poison cloud. I like thundering. I like freezing. I like echo quite a bit. Smite is pretty not great. Uh, defeating a mob heals you a small portion of the mob's max health. That's pretty good, and I actually think I'm gonna go for that. And now over here, we'll go for... Do we want poison cloud, thundering, or freezing? We're gonna go for poison cloud. That'll do for now. Do we have any better armor here? No, I don't. Oh, that's the same. I don't think it's worth it. Let's get rid of all this. No reason to keep it around. Boots of Swiftness are nice, but I'm not going to equip them because I like what we have. Okay, a new weapon. That's what we were asking for. Guess we got to go this way. 
cool. I, I like my favorite armor set so far, I think, has been the, um... Actually, let's go back in that corner and make sure there's no secrets or anything. Favorite armor set so far was that one with the candle that uh, spawned the bat for us. I liked I liked that armor set quite a bit. No secrets back here, huh? It's fine. I didn't want one anyway. And then we've got one little area over here. I guess I should probably use this little mini map a little more often. Uh, give me a secret. Come on. Nope. Because we can just turn it on and off, and I don't have to pull up uh, pull up the map and halt everything in its path. I see where we're going here. I'll just follow the nodes though. Hello. Ooh, cool weapon, cool weapon. Yeah, I like this weapon a lot. I'm a, bit, I'm a fan of the glaives. I like the fast weapons that you can do a lot of, uh, you know, hitting with in a short period of time. And that, that's exactly what a fast weapon is. I just, I just mansplained it to you, so it's all, it's wonderful. It's, uh, I don't like these pillars, man. Shadow Brew makes us slightly invisible, I think. Oh, we saw this gate earlier. I should have known that that's where the, uh, the exit was going to be. All right, so we've got a redstone golem here. Golem, golem, doesn't matter. I'm going to do my best to use my fire arrows and uh, all my other stuff on them. And then we'll use some regular arrows. I think the reason I was out of arrows on the on this level is because I was using so many of them to fight these redstone golems, and I didn't have a very good bow. But they're not too difficult this time around, which is... I'm thankful for, but I also wish you guys could have seen the, uh, the true struggle of the last episode. Oh, my mic sounds alright. I'm kind of moving around a little bit, so... If you notice it, cutting in and out and in and out, that's why. Not cutting in and out, but you know, volume fluctuation. Oh, little piggy boy. You know we gotta kill him. Dinky's a vegetarian. That's Dinky Cannon. I'm trying to decide what the best form of Dinky is. If you were a, if you're a frequenter of the stream, you know that there's been many iterations of Dinky. And uh, this, the, the same things always exist, is that he's, an, he's, a, he's got gray hair and he has thin, like, John Lennon glasses, usually dark. This one didn't offer us dark, like, sunglasses, so we just went with the small glasses instead. Um, but sometimes he's not an old man. Sometimes he's like a boy, not a boy, but a, a middle-aged man who is, has got some weight on him. Uh, but he's always, he's always gray hair with, uh, with glasses, and he always likes the ladies. That's the, that's, those are the things we know for sure about Dinky. But I think we need a Dinky true form, you know? Is he, is he young and strapping and, and beefy? Is he a cyborg, like he was in Star Wars The Old Republic? Or is he, uh, is he an old man, like he is in Dark Souls and Bloodborne? The world may never know. Or maybe he's just a gro growing, living, breathing thing. You know, maybe he changes over time. Succumbs to the will of the masses. I'm gonna heal. We're all dinkies on the inside. Slowly, over time, we'll all become more and more like dinky. Old, glasses, heart of sight. That's about it. That's about it. I like this weapon a lot. It's very cool. All right, how's our map looking? Looking fine to me. Machines of War, escape the forge. That's fine. Supplies. How are we looking on secrets? Two secrets, one of two chests. That's okay. It's not very good, but I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Another redstone golem, huh? That's fine. I wanted this. Joke's on you, game. These guys are intimidating. I, mean, I shouldn't have led him into an area that I have not f uh, cleared all the enemies out of yet. Oh yeah. 
the old uh, verticality problem with ranged weapons. Wonderful. I like the glaive and I like the hammer. I think so far those are my two favorite weapons. Ooh, enchanted skeleton. He's going to be a problem for us. Maybe not. Fairly spicy. A couple of them. You can see what they have. What kind of uh, buffs they have. That's pretty cool. Frenzied regeneration. Cool stuff. I like this game. Enjoyable. As I said before. How's our map here? Oh, let's just clear this out. Secrets? Secret, secret. Oh, baby, he's done it. Not a better bow, but you know what? It's worth the emeralds we'll, we'll salvage it for. How's our map? We got a little crack down here to check out. Maybe there's another secret. Ooh. You enchanted? No, just that other guy. Right here. No secrets here. It's fine. It's fine. It's always fine. Oh man, it's been a it's been a long week for me. I uh I went back to my hometown for a couple days. Had some some business to get up to down there. And so we've spent like 20 hours in the car this week, if not more. Uh, which, you know, I don't mind road trips all that bad. I, uh, I have a pretty good time. I don't mind driving. I, I, we listen to podcasts and it's a good time. We listen to some fun scripted podcasts. On this drive, we listen to uh, Homecoming. It's a very cool podcast that just got a... Uh, Amazon has recently made a television program, if you want to call it that, about, based on that, oh, I missed my shot, based on that podcast, alright, I'll stop talking about podcasts, this is a cool boss, um, it took me a minute to figure out what to really do here, um, and my arrows did not do this much damage, and I did not have enough arrows to fight him, but, you can trigger these things, and then have him stand there and he'll take a whole bunch of damage from him. I think he might need to be in the like explosion proximity, which isn't the end of the world. I wish that hit him more. Oof. I don't know, I just kind of walked around and triggered these over and over again because I didn't have um, any arrows to shoot him with. But now we do, so we can just kind of do this. These guys were also a problem. <laughs> and when we got here, I had already died twice on the level. So I think if I would have died, we would have uh, lost Dinky forever. This is a tough boss fight. This is the toughest of all the boss fights that... Uh, I've been in the game this far, in my opinion. But it's a cool boss fight. I like this fight a lot. Ugh. I like I like the the gimmick of this fight. I think it's I think it's cool that you can use these to explode and he spawns these little enemies that are scary. Stop it. And if you kite him correctly, you can get him to uh, stand in these explosions. Like he should do right about now. Yeah. Oh, that's a death. Hopefully that doesn't make us restart the fight. I don't think it should. It would be unfortunate. I think we're okay. Is he still... Excuse me? Um, what do I do here? I don't think I can get in here. We made it happen. Okay. That was weird. That gate... That's not how that should work, in my opinion. You shouldn't have to go around that gate. Oh, ouch. Well, you did, you did end up getting to see a, a death on this episode, so be pogged about that. That should do it. He should be dead, yeah? 
Not quite. One more. There it is. Cool. I'm not. I'm not fixing to to lose Dinky. You know, I don't. I, I'm not sure if that's exactly what happens, but I, I've been told it is. If you die three times on a level, your character uh, is deleted. You lose all your gear. I think you gotta go back to playing on easy mode. Don't know though. Don't quote me on that. I'm not. I'm not totally sure. Oh, that's not who I wanted to hit with that. This is a cool level. I like the boss. I like the aesthetic. I like uh, I like the gimmick of the boss. I like the uh, that it's a little intimidating. I like that it starts in that snow area and then you go into this fire area. I think this could be my favorite level so far. I also really liked the one before this, the uh, the desert temple or whatever it was called. I like that. I like that area a lot too. I'm excited to see the next couple levels. I think there might only be two more levels. I don't know, two or three. So expect a couple more episodes. Let's make sure we check out these corners. I could just do this. Maybe some secrets. How are we looking on secrets? Three of six, one of two chests. Terrible. The exit is right up here, so. Let's get all the boys dead. Come on, come on, get out of here. Make sure we check all the corners. Make sure there's no leftover secrets. Not that, not that I care about secrets. All right, let's let's head home and uh, do some gear stuff. Buy a couple items. Salvage all the stuff we don't want. The fiery forge is destroyed. The war machines of the Illagers have been smashed. There we go. We left a couple secrets on the table there, but you know what? We're gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right in the end. 96% of mobs defeated. That's fine. Soul healer amulet is cold to the touch and trembles with the power of souls. It is common among the illagers of the woodland mansions. What does that do? Whoops, wrong button. Uh, six to 124 health healed. Heals the most injured ally nearby, including yourself. Well. It requires souls. I don't think I want that. I don't know. You know what? I don't know if we want this beam. I don't think we need the beam. It's much better than the beam. Let's let's get rid of the beam. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. This. I do. I think I prefer the totem of regeneration to that thing. Because then it doesn't require souls. Mercenary armor. It's worse. I don't think I want this either. I like the power bow better than the short bow, and I'll keep all that. Okay, let's let's go look for some emeralds here. See if there's any chests planted around our area. Oh, I don't think there will be because I've already done these two levels. That makes sense. So let's not even let's not even look. I uh, I forgot that that was the case. Okay, and then we'll buy I don't know what one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven items from this guy. And let's buy, I don't know, two from you. One, two, let's go three. Three. Yes. Okay, so a better explosive arrow is amazing. Um, I don't think we want this. I think we're pretty content. And that's barely worse than what we have, unfortunately. That is, this hunting bow is better. So, how's the damage, though? 59, it's worse. And this is pet, pets attack targeted mobs. We don't have any pets, so I'm not going to switch. All these bows, man. All worse. Well, we ended up actually not changing anything. So this will be the dinky you will see in the next episode. I like the animation on this weapon. I like the way it spins in that left hand. It's all cool. Well, you know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you uh, think of all the all some of the changes. I guess the the bit rate. Um, how how do you think it looks? How do you think it sounds? And uh, if you enjoy, please like the video. I, I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a ton. Uh, it lets YouTube know that um, you want it. You want 
their platform to show my video to more people. So uh, just just click the like button. It's an easy thing to do. You don't have to have a YouTube account to do it. Uh, it's 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 nice. It's nice for me, and I uh, I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe. You know how that works. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Monday. Goodbye.